What's up guys? So today what we're doing is building a plane for the combat at Flight Fest. This is effectively what it is. It's a big lifting body kind of design with motors on the wingtips. It's got really small little wings. I'm not really sure if it's actually going to fly. That's as far as I've got so far. Hey Jeremy. What do you think of this? Ooh. That's what I'm making. Bigger. Bigger, I bigger. The splits, man. <laughs> Here to about there. Dude. <laughs> Boom. Let's nice. do it. I can't wait. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with these motors because I've used them before, I kind of know what to expect from them. We'll see if they have enough power. If we don't have enough power, I suppose I'll just add some more motors. The sun keeps falling, and I've been chasing early. So give me the coffee in the morning, a kiss when she leave me to get my day started. So I'm breathing life, and get to another rhythm and I'm in the flow. In the back line. All right, so we've got the motors ready. What we need to do now is go and get some ESCs from the boneyard. Ow! Oh. <laughs> I just worked. I just worked my head. Right then, so we've got everything ready. It's all in the box down there, and now we're gonna go to Flight Fest. Maybe I've been stalling, baby. I just want curvy. Just to keep it in your pocket. Kisses when she needs me, loving in the locket. I wanna be water. Swimming rock my soul again. On Long Beach, slowly turning into sand. It's a new morning, and I've just been working on this thing since about 6 30. And I really want to get it finished because the combat is coming up. I'm thinking about putting these sort of formers here just so that it makes the front end of the aircraft a little bit better. I've also done the tail, it's a bit wobbly, it's not exactly perfect, but these are the wings. The wings go on here, like this. And they're probably going to go a bit far forward because the CG is supposed to be around here. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm so hot. This is intense. <laughs> intense building. <laughs> We've just finished it. It's uh, come out of the build tent. It has come out into the nice sun and we're going to go and see if it actually can take flight. I'm a bit skeptical to be honest. Let's go and see if it works. Got a smiley face. Yep. Are you kidding me right now, dude? No joke, the whale doesn't look like it should fly. Have you tested it out yet? Nope, this is our first time testing it, so we're gonna be <laughs> in front of everyone, combat? we're gonna be throwing it and seeing <laughs> if it hits the runway or whether it takes the sky. That's what we call epic. My exactly. dude, James Wilmsley with Ooh. the whale. whale. Whale of a tail. Let's, Let's do this. this in the air, it worked out. Okay, so that didn't really work. Ah, I know, it was a bit of a disappointment. I'm sorry if that was too much of an anti-climax for you. Yeah, I think that there's a lot to be learned from, um, you know, starting a project and seeing it through to its end, even if the end result doesn't work out as you hoped. I'm back in England now, if you uh, didn't know already. Yeah, I think the, the problem with this aircraft was that uh, it wasn't that it was too heavy or that it wasn't uh, powered enough. It was more that uh, it didn't have the uh, control authority. So as it got thrown, I think that it, it got uh, got twisted 
adjusted slightly and, and yawed over to the side, uh, as you can probably see from the slow down video. So I'm not blaming the people who threw it, uh, they did a great job, although maybe one of them threw it a little bit too hard on one side, but that was bad design on my part, if anything, not making you know, it, it able to take off from the ground or uh, not just be thrown by one person. Yeah, so the next version, because I am going to do another version, is going to have, it's going to be slightly smaller, so it'll have a better power to rate, weight ratio, um, and it's going to be, uh, have more control authority. Yeah, it's just going to be better in every way. I think the concept does definitely hold up. If you feel like you've got something to add, um, please give me a comment down below. Um, if you've got a suggestion for the whale, um, how to make it better, um, you know, what I should be doing in the future, just let me know. Um, talk to me in the comments. I really appreciate all of the sort of, uh, interaction that you guys have with me in the comments down below so yeah just just say hi and uh, I'd like to hear from you. <laughs> the next project that I'm working on is in collaboration with Tom Stanton so we're both making a thrust vectoring jet plane um, so you should be able to see that on this channel or his channel in about four weeks maybe and yeah we'll see how that works hopefully it's better than the whale. <laughs> Thanks for watching um, make sure that you give this video a bit of a like uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you next time for some more flying. All right.